this last group has a couple of peculiarities. You already know the U, and you already know the entrance loop for the U, but the second leg there does not come up all the way to the ascender line. You want the second U to the second leg of the U to be about two thirds and uh, maybe one third into the ascender height, just above the waistline. And then the component, of course, is the circle, the dynamic stem curving around, and then an underturn arch. Remember to look for these little triangles of space. Now this one, if I had to do it again, I would make sure that the entrance loops are, are even. And there you go. I'm going to do the Y next, just because they're so similar. Because you start like the U, basically, and then you add the underturn loop, which you know by now. And that space, again, is not very even, so let me go a little slower, see if I can, oh, that's a little larger again. But coming up, and then heavy down stroke, squared top, underturn loop, meeting and crossing in a light hairline at the base. And if I'm going to be really nitpicky, that bowl is a bit wide, uh, that loop is a bit wide. So one more, third time's the charm, coming up, and dynamic loop down and over, that looks a bit better. The Z has the wave, and then a cr dynamic stem and another wave. And now this stem does not follow the slant line. It's a little more steep because you want to make sure that the 55 degrees cut through it in the middle. So you want to be thinking of the 55 degree box again, like in previous letters. Just showing you a couple of variations. To make the Z a little more interesting, you can try that that um, kind of oval entrance, the spiral. Make sure you go all the way over. Make sure you have enough ink <laughs> in your pen. <laughs> and you can pull that down. There we go. Now let's not forget the X. The X is done in one stroke and you'll be dizzy with all the loops. At least I am sometimes. So I'll start in the ascender space, do the circle entrance and then light downstroke like the small X as well curve over and then have the heavy down loop that comes up almost to close the oval. And try that again. Spiral over and then follow the slant in the light. Curve over, cross at the waistline, curve over, loop around, heavier downstroke and see what happens when you try and correct the strokes. They look weird. The ink looks heavy and they don't look even or graceful. So I'll try that again. Light down, remember. Don't know what that was with that angle. Oh, I was in the wrong space. There we go. <coughs> Try that again, loop over, 
at the waistline to meet and there we go those two bowls are even it's following the slant line that looks like a nice butterfly type of an X one more for the road we're crossing at the waistline, coming over heavy dynamic downstroke. Two in a row. Nice. And that is a good place to end.